One thing that is very interesting is that the SEC filings for the company, Visive Technologies, who were previously known as Texon Technologies, who are again based out of Waxahachie, Texas, a little closer to Dallas, but operating this tower out of Milford. On top of their CEO, Michael Miller, who is in the military, and their other officials, there are two brothers, James Corum and Kenneth Corum, been researching all the effects, all the related science for the National Security Agency, for DARPA, for the DOD, for the Defense Intelligence Agency, for the CIA, for the NRO, Philadelphia Experiment, Time Travel, and disappearing ships following the thread of Tesla technology for a long time. Stuff that the mainstream uh, either dismissed or believed was impossible. Our scientists uh, at our company launch this Xenic surface wave. Uh, we built a uh, 200 foot high tower out of fiberglass. I've got a quick little video showing it. Charge terminal at the top will reach a level of 200 million volts, around 18 kilohertz, a place called Milford, Texas. Testing is actually going to start within the next 30 days. Next year, power delivery uh, overseas. The superstructure is made of fiber reinforced polymer. What we believe will be about 85% efficiency. Think about how that changes energy. Think about uh, a world where the need for pipelines, for tankers, uh, for moving energy molecules around goes away. The space between Earth and ionosphere is called Schumann waveguide. Each individual lightning strike at Schumann fundamental resonance frequency 7.83 hertz at its higher harmonics can send its own energy into that waveguide around the Earth with efficiency of about 93 to 98 percent. The number of lightning strikes is 138 millions per year. So lightning strikes can reach the ground on the Earth as much as 8 million times per day or 100 times per second. Schumann resonances or standing waves known as radio wave. In 1897, Tesla was busted by J.P. Morgan with his Wondercliffe Tower project, and in 1921, Marconi, the former student of Tesla, was busted in Bolinia, California, by RCA, which was U.S. government agency corporation. So why Corum Brothers are so successful? Well, they can do it, explain it. And electricity is not free. Oil companies such as Chevron see it as big opportunity. We're talking about half of a billion dollars structure built with billions of dollars waiting to be spent. So Corum Brothers uses space between Earth and air, that thin interface to send Zenic wave around the Earth. And now the toughest part. We're dealing with electrically small, efficient, electromagnetic structure that may be used as an antenna or waveguide probe, having an electromagnetically close velocity inhibiting conducting path for supporting a standing wave that has inhibited velocity. In response to the flow of an electrical current through the path and process establishing the standing wave. Use of the structure is particularly adventurous at lower end of electromagnetic spectrum. We produce purely vertically polarized radiation in directional and omnidirectional patterns. The structure may be used to excite Earth ionosphere cavity at Schumann resonances. That is what we are looking for. But Corum Brothers and all business don't want that to happen. They don't want us to even think about it. Probe coupling circuit is simple air transform matching impedance of generator to the impedance of the Tesla coil structure. We can have one or more top capacitors presented as a sphere on the picture. Virtual image of the charge on each of the spheres is created in the ground. Each sphere, also called top capacitor and called charge terminal, should be at least at elevation of minimum four times of diameter of that sphere or more. Charge on the sphere should be totally independent from Earth influence on it. When we're dealing with electromagnetic wave, we have electrical magnetic field. And those could be polarized, like your sunglasses. And polarization is the property applying to transverse wave. That creates certain modes. In Zinec waves, 
even if we have two major modes, transverse magnetic and transverse electric, we are interested in transverse magnetic. So transverse magnetic wave has electric field equals zero, or transverse electric wave can have magnetic field equals zero. So where we are in transverse magnetic mode, the electric field is in direction perpendicular to the propagation. So only the magnetic field propagates within the waveguide. And our waveguide is our interface. And our interface is our space between air and earth. Transmitter could serve as a receiver. Receiver could serve as a transmitter. The example of electric car powering structure is shown on the picture on the right. At lower Schumann resonance frequency, the losses could be so low that efficiency could reach level of 93 to 97%. Structure ready for testing is shown on the picture. All information are included. To make sure that everything is clear, we have generator that connects to the impedance matching network and that connects to the primer of the Tesla coil. We don't have to have that middle box, might not be needed. Then secondary of the Tesla coil, which is high voltage coil, is connected with the wire to the elevated sphere, which is top capacitor. It doesn't have to be a sphere. By playing with slider on the high voltage Tesla coil and height of that sphere and sphere size or just capacitor inside the sphere we're creating a polarized surface wave in the interface between earth and air right below that earth you have imaginary picture of that charge so if we call q charge on the sphere we have a q1 the imaginary mirror reflection of it and then we see the angle of reflection by playing with geometric xyz structure we can launch that zinc wave that is symbolized by green arrow and you see the sequence here so the sequence is from sphere down creating image of the charge below launching geometric vector towards the surface and then that creates Zenic wave. If we deal with the frequency of 8.73 Hertz, we have no losses. If we deal with frequency that is a harmonic of that Zenic wave, we could go as high as 1.25 of megahertz. The lower we go, the better is our performance. Tariel Capenade didn't know what he's dealing with. He was uneducated experimenter. I spoke to him, I visited him, but he wouldn't listen to me. So his patent wasn't issued. His device is many times more advanced than the device of Korn Brothers. Tarir Kapanaza had only two options. He knew about it. He could transmit electrical energy from point A to point B and make a zillion dollars on it. Or he could do much more. Extract electrical energy from Schumann waveguide. I know how to do it. I know how to build the device. I'm just hesitating to give it out.